In this video, we're going to talk about this dash cam from GKU. It's the D600. It's a front and rear dash cam, 4K footage. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you the installation process and what the footage is like. But first of all, check out the unboxing. Okay, now we're unboxing the GKU D600 dash cam. And, um, well, it's what we've we got. We've got a 4K front only. Enhanced night vision, wide angle 170 degrees, uh, dual 2.5 and 1080p, easy to share and it's Wi-Fi. All right, let's just uh, get in there and have a look, shall we? Okay, so there's a, a screen protector. I'm not sure what that is. And there's another one, okay. That's very strange. Uh, user manual, it's quite thick, but we've got different languages in there, which is good. There's the camera itself. I like how small it is. It's nice and small and neat. We've got the sticky pad to go on the windscreen and let's peel all the stuff off. Oh, that one's really on there. Oh, look at that one, that was a thick one. And then there's the camera one. So we've got a SD card in there already. What's supplied with it? 64 gig SD card, good stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, USB-C and then there's a AV adapter. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, so that should move, yeah. So you can angle it the right position, good stuff. And then there's a power button, I assume, on the side there. Uh, right, okay, so let's just put that there. What's in the box? Yikes. Uh, so we've got the power cable to the uh, cigarette lighter, USB-C, and then there's a... Oh, is that a rear camera? There's a rear camera. Ah! Oh, for a, for a, <laughs> a rear camera. That's awesome. Okay, with a very, very long lead. Oh, that's what the um, other cable is, uh, other socket's for. It just plugs into there. Okay, that's cool. like it. And then there's a um, dashboard prior tool so you can install it easier. Ah, oh, some spare stickers, which is brilliant. That's really good thought. And some clips for the cables. Wow, awesome stuff. That is everything. I'm not sure what these are for. Um, I'm sure a quick look in the instructions will help us with that. So that's it, that's the unboxing video. Let's have a look at the rear camera, shall we? See if there's anything that we can report on that. Um, okay, let's peel that off. Oops. That's it, that's the uh, rear camera. So that will stick onto the back somewhere. I don't know where to put that. I'm gonna install it on my work van uh, because I'm forever getting people pulling out in front of me and I use that more than like my car. So I'm gonna install all this on the work van and um, see how that goes. Uh, so that's it, that is the unboxing video. What I'm gonna do now is go and install it and um, show you what it's like to use it. See you in a sec. Okay, so I am installing, I've put the camera here. Um, what I've done, I've actually put it the wrong way around because when you try and take it out, it's gonna get stuck. <laughs> so uh, I can never take it out because I stuck it on. I mean, it comes with spare, um, comes with spare stickers anyway. So if I really, really need to, then I can remove it and put another sticker on it. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it like that because uh, it's in there and what I need to do now is use this orange tool and um, it's a plastic tool, so it's not gonna hurt anything, and I need to use that to um, push it into, can we see that well enough? I need to push it into the uh, trim. I'm gonna do that all the way around the outside and down the bottom there. So I'll do that now, and I'll come right back to you. I can't do it with one hand, see? Okay, so the uh, front cable supplied is actually too small for this car. This is Land Rover Discovery Sport, uh, because of the distance it has to travel from there, and all the way along the seal and down this way, and down through there and then to go underneath the seat it goes to about here underneath the seat but it doesn't reach the cigarette lighter which is there and there's one actually be behind here as well down there uh, it doesn't reach either so I need to go and buy a new cable which is going to be have to be a USB A to USB C probably about five meters okay so we'll do that now okay so rear camera update I've had to take off this panel here off the back here because I couldn't get it in there properly. So um, I've 
put it into there, so I'll put it on the bottom. It's um, There's a nice little trunk in here where I could have put it in, but this bit here, this one's really sealed in there and I don't really want to pull it off. So I'm going to have to have it so it's going to be hanging down a little bit here, which is going to look crap and I really hope, I'm trying to see if there's a, a way I can sort this out. Um, Okay, so bear with me, I'm gonna try and get this done as invisibly as possible. Okay, so I've managed to, I've actually I've unplugged this. Uh, it wasn't stuck in, it was just really, really, really tight. So I've managed to do it all the way along here, in through this hole and down through here, and I've managed to get it so it's sticking out there. So now all I do is need to plug it in and then thread it through the rest of the car and then plug it into the unit at the front, then it's done. Okay, so I have connected it all. It's all cabled through. I've got it to see this the plug in there. So it's all plugged in through there and and it's all underneath there. And I've organized it so it's tucked in and it's, you can see a little bit of the cable down the bottom there. Can we zoom in on it? Uh, just is focusing on the bloody garden outside. <laughs> Um, so yeah, oh yeah, there we go. So, so you're just there. It's gone all the way through there, and all the way over that way, up through that way, and I made it go all the way down the bottom, and it's gone through the rubber seal here, all the way up. I was going to put it through here and along that way, um, but this was really hard to get off, and it was. Um, I think it's actually going to be going further, so I've put it all the way up, up through here. Put it all the way up through here and into that bit, then all the way down the front and up to there. If your dash cam catches something, you could put it on TikTok and get millions of views. Yeah. So if you go to the Jarvis Cam app, um, we just wait for this page to load up, and then we hit the connect button and we go it should load up any second there we go click on the gku d600 then we go back and just let that load up and now we can go into the app itself so we can see the front camera you hit the left button on the uh, on the side there and that will go to the rear camera there we go the rear camera let's just put that back to the front camera Now there's a camera file on the bottom there so we can have a look at all the recordings that we've already made. Um, then you can click on one and you can download it on the bottom there, take a screenshot or delete it. So we can go back, then we go back again, Start recording. and here you can turn the mute on, so we're recording the audio and turn it back on again. And then camera settings. Stop recording. You can see there's lots of different settings here. So we've got sound recording is on, speaker volume, that's okay. Uh, video resolution, you can change the resolution. And loop duration, I think I will change that because one minute is not good enough. And time watermark, I think that's quite important. And there we go, we can set it. You can format the SD card, which is what you need to do at the start of the installation process. And I think that is everything. We'll see on the front here, you can take a picture or you can um, pause recording. All right, so summary, I'm really happy with this camera so far. As you can see, I've installed it on, so installed both the front and rear camera. I actually didn't bother using it on my uh, uh, rack van. I've installed it on my car. Uh, because I've got another camera to go in my van uh, because I wanted to use the both rear and the front camera and it would have been too difficult to install the rear camera because you've got to install it on the inside on the glass. 
so I've done that. Everything's all installed really well and it records really well. Every time you uh, open the door, it starts recording. Um, and as you can see from the footage earlier, it's actually really good quality. 1080p, uh, both front and rear. The rear is a little bit a little bit grainy, a little bit dark, but it still looks good and it really, really works really, really well and um, gets the audio as well. Um, I haven't adjusted anything, uh, so the video and the audio you see in the recordings just now are, uh, I haven't changed them at all, so it's what you see. The, the, what you record is what you see and it's the level of audio that um, you get from it as well. I mean, when you're doing dash cam videos, uh, well, when you're recording dash cam videos, you don't really need the uh, audio inside although it does help um, I'm sure it will help for if whatever you need if you have a crash or um, you see an incident incident that you need to re-record or anything I mean if your car was getting taken over then yes you need the audio so in that case yes really good um, thumbs up from me really really good camera for dash cam footage and rear camera is great although that on my vehicle that the um, as you see that the uh, front um, cable wasn't long enough so I had to get a new one not the end of the world it wasn't very expensive um, but that's just my vehicle on any other smaller car when the dash when the um, cigarette light is on the dashboard it'd be a lot easier and you can use what's come what comes with the uh, in the box so um, so a good camera a thumbs up from me uh, okay so um, thanks for joining me on my new video um, if you have got this far then please do give it a like and then um, subscribe to my channel but don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss out on any future content okay that's it for me I've been Lee's Tech Group see you later bye